Welcome to this spoken tutorial on Introduction to OM Edit. In this tutorial, we will learn about Open Modlika, Introduction to OM Edit, Open a class from Libraries Browser, and Simulate a class from Libraries Browser. To record this tutorial, I am using Open Modlika version 1.9.5 and Ubuntu Linux OS 14.04. But the process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS such as Windows, Mac OS X or Fossi OS on ARM. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of differential and algebraic equations. What is Open Modlika? Open Modlika is an open source Modeling and Simulation Environment Object-Oriented Multi-Domain Modeling Language for Complex Systems Intended for both industrial and academic purposes Let's first look at what is OM Edit. OM Edit stands for Open Modelica Connection Editor. It is a new graphical user interface for graphical model. It has several features to create and modify the models. Now, let me go to the OM Edit window. I have already installed OM Edit on my system. To open OM Edit window, click on Dash Home. In the search bar, type OM Edit. Click on the OM Edit icon that is displayed. On clicking OM Edit icon, we see Welcome Perspective window. It shows a list of recent files and latest news. On the left side of the OM Edit window, we see the Libraries Browser. Here, we can see a list of libraries. Let us expand the Modlika library. To do this, click on the arrowhead to the left of Modlika library. Here, we can see a list of available libraries. Click on the arrowhead to the left of Thermal Library. Under Thermal, we find Heat Transfer Library. Expand it. Once again, we see many different libraries displayed. Now, let's expand the example library. Here, we can see different examples of Heat Transfer. Let us open the class named Two Masses. Right click on two masses and select open class. We can also double click on the class name to open the class. Now we are in the modeling perspective window. The class opens by default in diagram view. Don't worry if the class doesn't open in diagram view. I shall show you how to switch between different views. On the modeling area window, we can see the diagram view of models. On the top of the modeling area, we see four different icons. The first icon represents icon view. Click on it to see the model representation. The next icon represents diagram view. Click on it to see the diagram that represents the model. The third icon is text view icon. Let's click on it. Here we can see the Modlika code pertaining to two masses class. In upcoming tutorials, we will learn how to write code in OM Edit. Click on the next icon, which is Documentation View. A new window named Documentation Browser opens on the right side of the OM Edit window. Here, we can read the given detailed information about the model. Now, close the documentation browser. Before simulating a model, we need to check for correctness of the model. To do this, first locate a check all models button on the toolbar. This button has white colored double ticks on it. Click on it. Observe that a messages browser opens at the bottom of the window. This will show messages pertaining to the Modlika class now, let's try to simulate the model. To do this, on the toolbar, click on the green colored arrow button. 
This is the simulate button which is used to simulate the model. We can also press Ctrl B to simulate a model class. On simulating, a new window opens. It shows the compilation process of the class. Once the compilation is successful, the output window displays the message. Simulation process finished successfully. Minimize this window. By default, plotting perspective opens in the OM edit window. If it doesn't open, click on plotting button at the bottom right. We can also press Ctrl F3 to open plotting window. Here we can see the simulation results of the modelica class. On the right of the plotting perspective, look at the variables browser window. Under variables browser, I will demonstrate how to change input variable values of a modelica class. Let us expand the conduction variable. Change the value of G and see how the values of Q flow and DT change. By default, G is 10. Q flow is 263.599 and DT is 26.359. Let us change the value of G from 10 to 15 and press Enter. Go to the top right corner of the window. Click the Simulate button on the toolbar. We get the Success message window. Minimize this window. Once the simulation is completed, note the changes. Qflow is 203.009 and DT is 13.533. Now let me show you how to generate a plot. Click on the checkbox against DT variable. You can see a plot between time on x-axis and DT on y-axis. This plot describes Temperature difference between two masses varying with time. By default, the simulation runs from 0 to 1 unit time. We can vary this interval using the simulation setup option. For this, go to modeling perspective. Click on modeling button at the bottom right or press Ctrl F2 to open modeling window. Click on simulation setup option on the toolbar. Simulation setup windows opens. Change stop time to 5 unit. Ensure that simulate checkbox is checked. Click OK. Immediately, we get the success message window. Minimize this window. The class is re-simulated with a simulation interval of 0 to 5 unit time. We can also obtain a plot between any two variables other than time. Let's try that now. Click on New Parametric Plot window on the toolbar. Let's select the two variables Qflow and DT that we wish to plot. We can now see a plot between DT on x-axis and Qflow on y-axis. It shows the variation of heat flow as the temperature difference between them decreases. Once the necessary plot is generated, we can delete the results. In the Variables browser, right-click on two masses. Select Delete Result. The result has now been deleted. Open Modlica has a Help menu. Go to the menu bar and click on Help option. Here we can see User Guide, System, Scripting, and Modlica documentation. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about Open Modlica, Introduction to OM Edit, Open a Class from Libraries Browser, and Simulate a Class from Libraries Browser. As an assignment, expand Fluid Library in Modlica, expand Examples Library in Modlica, simulate Heat Exchanger Simulation Class in Heat Exchanger Library, change value of few input variables and re-simulate, generate a plot between Qflow 1 and time. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. The Spoken Tutorial project team conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorial. 
give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Do you have any questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSSE team will answer them. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. The FOSSE team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSSE team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to open Modelica. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSSE projects are funded by Enemy ICT. MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Dutta and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.